If the wind doesn't get you with a branch hitting you, then the, the flood will get you because you won't be able to make it through. Puerto Rico left devastated following a direct hit from Hurricane Fiona. This tropical storm brought widespread flooding like this all across the island. That storm made landfall on Sunday, packing 90 mile per hour winds. It knocked out power to the entire island of more than 3 million people. A state of emergency has been declared with the White House promising not to leave Puerto Rico in the dark. There are also at least a dozen states sending aid or personnel hoping to shift the rescue effort into recovery mode. New York State will do everything in our power to help them. And we've always been there for each other, but now is when they need us the most. Crews are working to get the lights back on for all of those still in the dark tonight. As for Fiona, the tropical storm is moving north. It could hit Bermuda as a major hurricane by the end of the week. Tonight, the storm hits closer to home for a Milwaukee family. A UWM employee tells Fox 6 his parents are stuck on the island after visiting for a birthday party. Sam Kramer joins us live here in Milwaukee, where even amid the damage, Sam, he's counting his blessings tonight. Yeah, that's right, Ben. Alberto Maldonado spent the bulk of his childhood in Puerto Rico, about 90 minutes from San Juan. Tonight, he says he's just grateful none of his family members are hurt, though his hometown is reeling again. As rivers rage and homeowners brace for impact, all Alberto Maldonado can do is watch. A lot of the videos that you probably have seen going viral, um, they're from my hometown. So it is, it is pretty tough. Almost five years to the day Hurricane Maria made landfall. Hurricane Fiona has forced much of the island underwater again. This bridge was just rebuilt near his hometown, but it quickly washed away Sunday as more than two feet of rain fell on the island in less than 24 hours. The rains in parts of the island, 29 inches, 27, 25. I mean, we just got eight last weekend and, and it did how much damage? Still, the director of UWM's Roberto Hernandez Center says his focus remains on family. His sister just moved to the island from Shorewood, and his parents, who live in Milwaukee, went to visit for a birthday party. Now they're stuck there. But they aren't letting Fiona dampen their spirits in occasional phone calls and texts. Oftentimes it's a tour of the house to show us, you know, how they're prepping and all the towels that they're using to not allow water to come in. Hoping the worst has come and gone so that the island can shine again. These times it's, it's like unbelievable spirit of a community that comes together uh, and I'm sure once again they'll, they'll come on top. Now, Maldonado says he cannot wait to get on a flight to go back to Puerto Rico and really help out however he can. He just doesn't know when he'll be able to do that. We're live tonight in Milwaukee. Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. Yeah, we're seeing all those lights behind you, Sam. We just take it for granted until they're not there. And so many people in Puerto Rico dealing with that tonight. All right, thanks.